we have 1.8, 12 volts is present, we have core and all voltages that are required are present. So why is it not detected? Hi, welcome to GPU Solutions. My name is Fraser and today we have this Gigabyte Radeon RX 6700 XT and this card is not getting detected. Let's check the resistance. To start off, let's check the 12 volt PCIe. Let's check what we get and we don't have any shots here. Let's check the 3.3 volts. And again, we don't have any shorts. Let's check the 12 volts 8 pin, no short. 12 volts 6 pin, and we don't have any shorts. Okay, so let's connect our power supply and test it. Okay, I've turned it on, but the fans are not spinning. And you can see it's drawing about 1.15 amps. So that indicates that our code was active, but something is preventing this card from uh, getting detected. So let's uh, open this card up. Okay, so the card has been disassembled. Let's observe it under the microscope. So there's a lot of dirt on the card. So we don't know if the dirt has caused any problems. So because what happens is if there's dirt, it accumulates moisture and uh, it can, well, it, it is possible that because of the moisture, there can be some short circuit. So it could be that some circuit is not active. But you can see this particular gate. So it's an end gate. It's slightly off. So it looks like someone may have worked on this card before. So it's not straight. It looks like it's on one side. Let's continue. So the rest of the board is looking okay. I don't see anything which is off except for that gate. Some flux here. Well, I guess that's about it. Okay, so let's check the resistance. To start off, let's check this fuse. And uh, our fuse is good. Uh, we don't have any fuse here, so we will have to check the resistance directly on the inductor itself. So let's check the resistance on the inductor, starting with the 6 pin. And just like before, there's no short, 8 pin, no short here. So what else can we measure? Okay, five volts. And this is good. Uh, 12 volt PCIe. This is good. Okay, uh, let's check. Is this memory? No, this is not memory. This is uh, core. What about this? No, this is core as well. Uh, is this memory? No, this is core. Where's memory? Okay, this is core as well. Okay, so um, all this looks good. So uh, the resistance on the core is uh, very low. So it will, even though it shows zero point, you know, it, there is no shot. Let's take a look at 1.8. No shot. And this is the SOC. 
and we don't have a short here. So where's memory? I think this one, let's check. Yeah, this is memory and we don't have a short here either. So that's good. Uh, I think this is memory again, yes. So both these are memory and this is core. Yes, it is. Okay, so just two uh, memory rails and the uh, rest of them are uh, core. Okay, so let's clean this board a bit. It's a little bit messed up. So uh, let's uh, use some isopropyl alcohol and uh, get it nice and clean so we can start working on it. Okay, so it's time to measure the voltages. Let's start off with the 12 volts and we have 12 volts coming in. Uh, let's check the six pin. And we have 12 volts coming in on this one as well. So this is good. Let's take a look at, uh, what's this, SOC? And we have SOC, uh, what about 1.8? We have 1.8. 12 volts PCIe, we have 12 volts PCIe, core, we have, we have core. So all voltages are present. So why is this card not detected? Hmm, strange. Um, let's check memory. And we have memory as well. So all voltages are present. Um, I'm still surprised why this card is not detected. Maybe something in the back. Let's take a look under the microscope. Let's let's check that uh, end gate and see if there's something off there. I feel. Uh, someone has worked on this uh, card. Maybe they have replaced it, or maybe this one or something has been done because this is not factory. Let's check if we have an output. No, we don't have. We don't have any output. Do we have input? Yes. This is ground. Okay. Uh, let's check this leg here. And we have. So our input voltages are present. Let's check this one. Yeah, this is fine. So this pin connects to the PEX reset. So we have all the voltages present. So we should have output, but we don't have any output on this uh, particular end gate. So in uh, AMD cards, they either use Smith triggers or they use end gates. So normally on the 6800, 6900, 6700, they use end gates. So I'm going to use a end gate from this donor board. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, prepare this board to remove the end gate from here. Okay, so I've just added some flux so that I can go ahead and remove this one.
Okay, so the gate has been replaced and I have gone ahead and cleaned the flux. So I don't see any residue. It looks nice and clean. Um, so it's good. It's not hot. So I can go ahead and test it and check if I get a reading in diode mode now. So I'm just going to connect my probes and uh, test and measure on the PEX reset line if we get a reading. Testing it now, and we have a reading. So which is a good sign, but uh, let me connect the power supply and uh, check if we also get a voltage. So we should have about 3.3 .3 volts coming out of this end gate. So I'm going to connect my power supply now. And if, if we get this uh, voltage, I'm going to then go ahead and uh, put this card on the bench and test if it's getting detected. So all our main voltages are fine except for the voltage on the gate. So we have gone ahead and replaced it. Let's check. So I'm just going to connect the standoffs. I think that's good, clear enough. Let me switch to the voltage. Okay, let's test it. Do we have an output? Yes, we do. Okay, so uh, this looks good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, disconnect this and put this card on the bench and check if we get any uh, display out from here. Okay, so the card is on the bench. Let's boot this thing up and check if the card is now detected. Yes, we have a picture. Okay, so I'm going to put this card on my test bench, uh, replace the paste and pads and assemble it. So the card is assembled. Let's put this on a test bench and boot to Windows. Okay, let's boot this thing up. Booting to Windows. We have a picture. Windows has loaded. Let's test the drivers. So I'm just waiting for the drivers to install. 
I already have the AMD software installed, so I just have to wait for the drivers. There you go. The drivers have installed. So I'm going to run a couple of stress test programs on this GPU, uh, like Heavens and uh, Fermark and things like that. So if it survives, this card is a fix and uh, it's going to go back to its owner. So if you have cards for repair, don't forget to use the link in the video description and uh, it will take you on to my website where you'll be able to fill in the form and a ticket will get raised so that uh, you know everything is recorded and you get timely updates on what's happening with your repair. I do accept cards from outside UAE and uh, you can go into the FAQ section of my uh, on my website uh, which will give you a lot of details and, and answer a lot of questions you may have. So the link to the FAQ section is also mentioned in the uh, description of this video. So I hope you like this video. If you do, uh, please hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you would like to support this channel, you can either use the join button to join on a monthly subscription or use the thanks button for a one-off uh, contribution. So every bit of your contribution helps and it will help me to go a long way. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. I do make sure that I respond to every comment. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye for now. Cheers.